Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I show you how to take popsicle sticks available at a craft store and use them to mount an electric motor on your Guilo's RC model airplane. Let's get to it. I enjoy taking Guilo's model airplanes. In this case, I'm working on the Spitfire. It's my seventh uh, Guilo's conversion to radio control flight. And taking these popular kits and changing them from free flight to radio control flight. Uh, one of the things you have to do in these kits, obviously, is mount the electric motor. Everybody uses electric motors these days. And this is a little bit more challenging when you have a spinner and the cowl to get everything aligned. In this video, I'd like to show you a pretty easy way to uh, take on this task. If we look at the Spitfire side view plan, we can see it's the standard Guilo's construction with the formers, the um, 1 16th inch square stringers, and then the nose cowl. The nose cowl goes on like this, and the Guilo's provides a spinner that is suitable for the uh, rubber band powered flight. There's no way that you could secure this to the model to, uh, for electric powered flight. We can measure across this, it's an inch and a half, so if we can buy a commercial inch and a half spinner, we can fit it on pretty well. The other problem we face, this is a typical small electric motor, is if we put it directly onto the firewall at this location at B1, it's not extending far enough out to fit into the cowl, so we have to have some way to build up the back end to space it out, and that's what we can do with these popsicle sticks. They're very easy to purchase at uh, craft stores, you can get any number of them. And what the plan is, is to build them up like this with glue so we have the motor out enough distance. It is hardwood, so we can put screws in there, it holds the motor well. And that's a pretty efficient way to um, get the motor out the right distance. So what you'll have to do is take your motor, measure down the appropriate mount to be the center line of that uh, propeller uh, center line, Mark that onto a uh, uh, former's B1, and then just take your popsicle sticks. This is what I have done on this one here. You can see this is B1, the front of the Spitfire. I used a number of popsicle sticks, gluing one to the other till I got the right distance out. It lines up well with the um, holes that I drilled out for the screws to keep things in place. And this is just an inch and a half common plastic uh, spinner that I have. This is the cowl, and what I did to make it fairly easy to put on is I just split the bottom. So we can quite easily take that, put it around the motor, and as you can see, it's a fairly reasonable fit. So uh, as we continue to build the fuselage, we'll put in the stringers, I'll put in some uh, balls of fill to make it as strong as possible, but that is a good way of uh, building out the motor the right distance, the right um, elevation. Notice that it is quite challenging to make sure you get the distance up and right correct the first time. What I would recommend doing is just tack gluing just a very small amount of glue to hold it in place if you have to remove this to shift it up and down to get it exactly right for the cowl. Once you are satisfied with the distance out, the placement, down thrust, right thrust. Notice I put in uh, two washers here to make sure the thrust is correct. There is some reinforcing popsicle sticks on the back with epoxy glue. And I will continue to reinforce that on the top and the sides. I didn't want to do that now to show you exactly how it looks like and then with the um, stringers. Note also uh, that I've carved out the hatch to have access to the controls inside the radio. This model will have um, three channels of control, elevator, ailerons, and throttle. I have found from experience that when you put in the elevator control rods to the back, it's much, much easier to have the servo, the control rods in this bare fuselage, get everything set right, then you can put in the 1 16th inch streamers, uh, stringers to have the completed model. So that is the technique for um, mounting the motor. So let's take a moment and I will uh, connect up the battery and we'll see what it looks like in the model.
So again, I think that provides a good amount of thrust. It's a five by three prop. It's a altitude, altitude hobbyist model. I'll put the specifics in the description what model it is. But this is a good uh, methodology for bombing your, your um, uh, electric motor, the correct distance out on the nose, popsicle sticks, also things as simple as a trimmer just to uh, clip it like that to get it cut and you can um, sand it down from there. The popsicle sticks being a relatively soft hardwood uh, is just wonderful for something like this. So good luck with your project. This is a good view uh, still of the motor mounted on the popsicle sticks. Here we can see some reinforcing sticks on the top of the completed stack mount are in there. Notice also the doubling up of the 1 16th inch stringers to the nose section. When you CA these together, it's a very rigid, strong structure. The model is now covered. You can see the mount in place. All we have to do is take the plastic cowl, fit it over. I use 5 minute epoxy to glue it in place. That way you can adjust it very easily as it dries. Up, down. And then the ailerons like that. I think we should have enough. And then we'll point away from us and give a shot at the motor. I think that'll be enough um, uh, power for the flight. So